Hello, hello, hello. Hand me one hell of a day today. It still ain't over. <coughs> oh man. Over by the Seattle area. Over by the Squamish Pass. And I checked online thing. It didn't have anything really saying much. I'm like, okay, I guess it must be this pass must go. Get going, like, I'm like, fuck, I put chains on. I'm like, no, I'm gonna fuck away here, it'll, it'll go off. I'm looking at the date that the found online said they put it out the thing last night. I'm like, update, okay, refresh, refresh, okay, what about today? What about see sun coming up what not I'm like fuck I gotta get this other get this place get my load of onions before they close up so I put those damn chains on I was gonna put them on the trailer if I get asked I'm like I must have slim chain if I get the damn chains on there and then I'm noticing more trucks pass me with no chains but going line I'm like holy fucking shit him on and, and they um, remove the damn thing. You might be thinking, oh great, you just take them off. That's what I thought too. Three of the four sets of chains, um, take them off. All right. The fourth one, fell between the duels when I was rolling forward, and when the hooks got all bound up, I couldn't get the motherfucker out. Pull it forward, wiggling, move truck forward, wiggling, move truck forward, wiggling, move truck forward, wiggling. I'm like, holy fucking shit. I'm like, God, we're gonna someone just fucking shoot me. <laughs> I'm like crying. I'm like, this, really, I was. I'm like, this, constant struggle up and down. Good paycheck, shit paycheck, good paycheck, shit paycheck. Oh yeah, I got a different dispatcher. That was when I had either quit or whatever. But, anyways. Oh, if I get the thing off, I just threw the chains, they're inside the cab, I'm like... Then run straight into the shipper. The shipper got loaded. The hard part was the chain part. Got, got there late, they loaded me quick, now I'm here. Get some fuel. And then I find out there's another winter storm coming. So I got just, I got some hours left. I got to keep on going. I check out the little corner part of Oregon, cabbage, the past called cabbage. Go through that motherfucker, and um, then probably shut down. But yay! Then find some news out. Lots of people back home. I'm like well, for better for worse. Just made that choice, chose that person. You gotta support them. You know, what they're doing might seem controversial, but society's been more and more acceptive, accepting of it. You know. And I'd rather keep that person as a friend. And anything more than that, because three strikes, you're out. <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> Didn't want to do for better or for worse with me. Well, you got what you got. And that person's nice to me, and that's my kids. I mean, much stressed out that the person's been put through by somebody else. You know, those who have ears to hear them hear with certain people, they know what I'm talking about. Others don't, don't need to. Another person put a lot of stress on the other, other person. You know, they're trying to get his life straightened up, everything's going good, and then all of a sudden, go cock around the balls. What he's doing now is better than, than suicide. Have some control. You can sort things. You can control. If 
one just like a woman? You got that control. You can do that. Wrong girl titties? That's control. You got control. Something in life you can't control. <laughs> I understand. <laughs> Believe me. <laughs> I understand. And that's all I've said about that. I guess for conservative, I'm, uh, I'm pretty progressive. Because I care about people. People go through a lot of shit. You know, put yourself in their shoes. Instead of being so goddamn judgmental.